Hi, I'm Roger Mooking. I've joined forces with Mila Canada to improve your culinary adventures. So stay tuned for recipes and videos. Let's go. All right, let's make braised oxtail and dumplings. I love, love this dish. So hearty, and it's one of those dishes that tastes better the next day or even the day after. So let's get going. So cutting an onion, you wanna make sure you keep the little root attached here at the back, and then you're just gonna dice up the onion, okay? All right, we're gonna turn on our induction. Onions go into the pot. Give the pot a quick stir. All right, so I'm using a thumb of ginger. This is thumb of ginger. So I like to peel the ginger first, and I just use the concave part of the spoon Go down the ginger like this. And this allows me to get the skin off. And also, as you see, it's very, very thinly shaves it off. So that way, you know, I'm getting the most bang for the buck for the ginger that I bought, right? All right, this is smelling incredible. We're getting some nice browning in the pan. Come check this out. All right, let's get this oxtail. There was once a time you can get this really, really inexpensive, but it's come really popular, so this is now a luxurious item, oxtail, all right? So I wanna season this here with some salt, with salt and pepper. All right, oxtail goes in the pot. What's amazing about the induction is it's very responsive to heat. I can move the temperature dramatically high or dramatically low very quickly. It's actually more effective and more efficient than gas for that. So a lot of chefs love cooking with gas, but the induction gives me that capacity with a much lower consumption of energy as well. Very responsive. All right, I'm getting a little bit of browning on that oxtail. Time for some beef stock. Now I can raise the temp, get that to the simmer. I'm gonna add some coconut milk. Once the coconut milk and beef stock comes to the boil, I turn it down to a simmer, and I'm just gonna let that go very gently, and I can add the rest of the ingredients. So next, start with the tomato, and just give it a rough chop, because it's gonna basically just break down and help thicken that sauce. Then I wanna add a little bit of fresh thyme. This is really aromatic, adds a lot of flavor about eight sprigs or so. And that's just gonna all just come together, coalesce in the pot, it's a beautiful thing. We've got a habanero pepper. This is a chili pepper. It's quite a hot pepper, but we put it in the pot as what we call in the Caribbean an all day pepper, which basically means you put it in the pot and you try not to let the habanero burst because once it bursts, it's gonna release a lot of heat, chili heat. What I want is actually the bright flavor of this chili more than I want the heat. So we leave it intact, and by the end of the cooking, we remove it intact. All right, so now this is simmering. What I'm looking to do is bring down the temp because I need to cover this. Braising is about low and slow, so I want it just bubbling. It's gonna take several hours, just like your best grandmother's recipes. Low and slow. So the induction lets me control that heat perfectly. Let's go set up for dumplings. All right, it's dumpling time. One of my all time favorite things as a kid. One of my first recipes I ever learned was making dumplings. I was obsessed with dumplings, so I watched everybody who was making them. And so here we are, bringing that memory back. So this is corn flour. I'm gonna add some corn flour here. We have some all purpose flour. I got some baking powder, and then I have some salt. All those ingredients are just gonna whisk up very gently, just so they're all evenly incorporated, okay? It's time for some water. Now this is where the fun part comes in, get in there with your hands. We're just gonna adjust as necessary, okay? All right, that dough is coming together beautifully. I just wanna form it, and it should be a little bit springy like that. See that? That's looking good, but it does need to rest. All right, my water's boiling. I gotta salt it just like I would for pasta. Dumpling time. So what you wanna do is form a dowel of the dumpling, okay? I'm just gonna come here, 
and just form little pillows. Just like that. All right, time to cook the dumplings. Ah, yes. You want a rolling boil like that? Oxtail still cooking away on the induction. These dumplings are pillowy and soft. I could kind of just feel on the touch that they're done, right? While we wait for the oxtail to cook, I can set these dumplings aside so they're ready for plating when it's time. You know I gotta taste one. You know I gotta taste one. Mm. Soft, pillowy. I get that hint of corn, really tender with the richness of that oxtail. It's gonna be magic. All right, let's put it together. So, some green onion, get a bit of fresh cilantro, just really just rough, rough chop of it. Some fresh chives. All right, let's put it together. The dumplings here, still warm. Take a little bit. Oxtail. You ready? Are you, ready? Are you really ready? Saucy, get all that gravy in there. Mm. Fresh chives. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Smells incredible. I know it's gonna taste incredible. I can't wait to dig it. 